Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Alright, so I gave Chelsea the job of putting away all the advent calendar figures for next year. So I, I kind of casually said it like, oh, when you get a chance and you can, <gasps> oh, yeah, I forgot. remember that one comes off. That's okay. She's eating one of her new ring pops she got at Walmart yesterday and show us your tongue. And those lips, bright, it looks like you have on bright red lipstick. Woo, baby. So I was uh, like, oh, when you get a chance. It won't come open. It's okay, we'll get it. I said, when you get a chance, can you do this? And she's like, bring it over here. So she, I guess she's gonna do it right now. So I just thought it'd be good to have all the little pieces put in their appropriate boxes. We'll get it, we've done it before. And uh, have it all ready to go because we'll still keep, we traditionally, we keep everything out till after New Year's. Uh, we just really like to enjoy the holiday season and the Christmas decorations for as long as we can. So New Year's Day or maybe the day after is when we'll take everything down. So we're looking at next weekend probably of taking everything down, putting everything away where it belongs, getting the Christmas tree out of here and cleaning everything up. So um, we're gonna enjoy it for one more week, but I figured this would be a good act little activity for Chelsea to, uh, to help out with. Okay, so Chelsea and I just played, well, Jenga, but it's a Monopoly. These blocks are like a monopoly game one but we played jenga and then we started doing dominoes so this is our second or third domino set that we did second and we did a heart shape so we're gonna see if it works you ready Worth it. <laughs> it worked oh it's a broken heart that looks awkward <laughs> you got your sign hung up yep so we ended up um Chelsea decided she wanted to put it in the game room and originally she was going to put it over here So I held it up over here and she's like, no, I don't want it there And so then I put it oh, she asked me to hang it up Over there like above her ice cream truck and then she's like, no, that's not where I want it either And then she decided, well, that would be like the most obvious is like right in front of yeah. her desk area Yeah, so then she decided well, let me try it over the desk And so I, I just kind of like held it up wherever she wanted to figure out where she wanted to keep it And that's where she decided now we need to get her some I wonder like now we need to Organize this messy well, desk. Oh my gosh. How do you get anything done? Well, the arts and crafts stuff isn't usually there, but we were doing arts and crafts So I need to put that stuff away but she's been really into the arts and crafts and all that stuff. But I was like, uh, I need to get her some push pins for that. But like, are there any like child safe push pins? The whole point of a push pin is to be a push pin. To be a push pin, <laughs> right. So anyway, I, I know I have a bunch of push pins, but I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's like other ones that we could get her that are easier to use. I'll probably just have her use the ones that I already have. I have been playing and playing and playing and playing with this dog. And guess what she wants? No, you've been keeping her away, keeping her away, keeping her away. Because Michael's been <laughs> Michael's been doing stuff on his computer, so I've been keeping her busy, fed her, played with her, did all kinds of stuff with her, tried to distract her every which way I can. Lo and she behold. She just wants to be here. She just wants to be in your lap. <laughs> I could that totally I could totally sit there and try no. to get her to be in my lap. Then if she I went wants over you. there, she would come over there to yeah. me. And I don't get it, you guys. I wanted Eddie so badly, and Eddie ended up like being infatuated with Michael. <laughs> and now look, I wanted Pixel so badly, and I mean, she loves on me too. She follows me around yeah, everywhere if you leave I go. The room, if you were to go right now, take the camera and go downstairs and see if she doesn't notice. She might not because she's occupied, but she usually Oh yeah, does. she finally got to sit in your lap. I don't know if she's gonna, if she's gonna want to leave or not. <laughs> she'll, she'll notice you're not around and then... And then she'll come looking for me? Yeah. Let's see. Usually she'll stand like right here. And once she sees that I, so we have this, you know, where it turns a corner. And as soon as she sees me go around the corner to go downstairs, that's when she'll, she'll come run in. No, oh, well, <laughs> no wonder. Yeah, I wish I would have been vlogging it a little bit ago, she's, but, oh, well, no. she sees she's something outside. outside. But she hears your voice, but she doesn't see you. Okay, let's try this again. 
Well, no, she noticed no, now. Yeah, she noticed now. So let's see if I can get her to do the thing with downstairs, though. Oh, yeah, just walk out. She'll totally follow. Usually she hears me come down. Of course. Oh, no, she's getting into I was gonna say, she's probably like, nobody's watching me. Okay, and then she'll watch me. Picks. Hey. And, but she'll stand there and watch me. She won't come down until she sees, look, she's reaching. <laughs> Mommy's gone, I gotta follow her. I gotta go see what she's doing. I've been doing laundry and she just keeps following me downstairs into the laundry room. <laughs> We've got quite the intense game of tug of war going with her new moose she got from Santa. That's turned out to be a really good toy. She likes the crinkly sounds, I think, and she also likes to play tug with it. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. It's a good way to, yep, that's what she does. She plops down and wants you to drag her everywhere. It's pretty funny. But that's how she likes to play. She loves tug of war and loves to play, oh no! Loves to play uh, fetch with the tennis balls downstairs in the long hallway. <laughs> there they go. Ugh, Pixel won. Pixel wins this round. <laughs> what? did you guys do Off. to this tree? No, there didn't. are needles everywhere. You notice Eddie is hiding, like I didn't do nothing. Oh yeah, it was both you guys. Oh, I mean, look at those branches. They used to be up there. Oh, and now they're all hanging and pff, this one's almost empty of needles. Look. You're lucky it's the last few days of our tree. See what she's begging for? She found these bits under the tree and she wants them. Like I caught her walking around with one in her mouth and she wants it. I don't think you She'd should. She'd eat it. She eats everything. <laughs> the entire time I'm walking her, she's like munching on the grass and sticks and I'm like, stop. So I probably shouldn't give it to her because that would just be teaching her bad things. But she sure is begging for it. Maybe just a tiny little one. <laughs> I'll cut this one in half. <laughs> she takes it ever so gently, like as if she's not about to eat it. Well, maybe she's not gonna eat it. Maybe she just, just wants to play with it. it. <laughs> she wants to mouth on it. That's what she does with like a lot of the leaves that she finds outside. Yep. She just carries them around. She just wants to yep, have see? them. She's kind of ripped she's it apart, spit it out. Nibbling, nibbling on it. Yep. Nope, oh. that one's going down. <laughs> yep, so weird. she ate that one. 